Hi, my name is Nadej Ban from French Romance Photography. How are you doing today? Uh, I want to welcome all my bride and groom who's watching the video. And today we are going to talk about digital files. Yay! What's the big deal about digital files, right? All photographers offer them to some level. Some do, some don't. Some offer them very cheap. Some ask for a lot of money. So what's the difference? What, what's the big deal about it? This is what we're going to talk about, it, trying to explain you that this is an important matter. And digital files, you need to understand why do you need them to some level, why you don't and what, what you really need to pay attention to. What's the difference, right? Okay, let's talk about that. So, digital file, that's the JPEG file basically you are going to receive after your weddings and who's gonna be basically the film strip of your entire event. Now, let's be honest, it doesn't come out straight like that out of the camera. It doesn't, it doesn't. So what happened is like a photographer is going to shoot you even for eight to 10 hours on their camera, but we are using raw file, not JPEG. We're using a raw file system because this is a, a style, a type of file will allow you allow to, to keep all the information of the light and the camera embedded in the file. And this can be written by a, a software like Lightroom and Photoshop. And we can kind of use the algorithm and the software to kind of have a better precision in terms of shadows and white balance and color correction to a very high level. JPEG files do not allow to have that data behind, so it's a little bit more tricky and more difficult. So this is one of the reasons why. So when we shoot your events, we got to go home and basically upload all this raw file. And we talk about between 2,000 to 4,000 file. That's average per wedding. And from there, we got to basically delete all the bad picture, all the picture we try for the light, all the pose were not right, everything we think is not up to our standards. And we make a good selection to tell the story of your wedding without you having to get through, you know, hundreds and hundreds of hundreds of files, sometimes even thousands, uh, because we don't want you to be lost in the, the selection. So we're going to basically narrow down the selection for you to be uh, quite enough for you to tell the story of your wedding and give you enough room to make a selection for eventually your wedding album. So we grab the leftover file we're going to adjust them a little bit to be better and then we're going to convert them into a JPEG file. So uh, some people are going to give you that by USB or by online gallery. Most of the photographers that use online galleries and this allow you to see everything in mid selection. Uh, they're very uh, friendly user and uh, I just love using online galleries now. Um, so now it's about the resolution. So most of you want to know if packages include iRes. Okay, so iRes, if you understand what that means, it's basically the entire full size of the, the original pictures. Most camera will have a good resolution uh, on the long edge between 5,000 and 8,000 pixels. So it's a uh, it's very decent. Mine is about seven, a little bit over 7,000 pixels, so it's pretty big. So basically the file is like that in real size. I mean, big, it's gigantic. All, if this allows you to get a good printed option like that beautiful uh, 40 by 50 behind me, it's a metal print. I spent a lot of hours editing that one. So those raw file, those, um, high resolution file is basically what you want uh, if you want to print very big image, right? Like 20 by 30 and above, you want these big giant files. Now, why photographer, most of us, I mean, the one, especially the one who charge a lot of money to not want to give you this high resolution file? Well, it's simple. It's the Costco story. If you have that very, very big file, why will you spend the money to get that picture printed with a photographer while you can get the picture printed with Costco, right? You figured that out already. You're like, oh, yeah, I know that lab is way cheaper over there. Okay. <laughs> we got to be honest. We know why. We know because you want to print it 
cheaper somewhere else. It's not like we don't want you to, but it's more a quality issue because let's face it, if it's cheap live, do not pay attention to quality. So cheap live, cheap product, cheap result. This is how you got to think. If you pay cheap, you're going to get cheap. If you pay a lot of money, you're going to get what you, you get, you're paying for. You know, it's the difference between the Mercedes and the Kia. They both cars, but one is more high end than the other. You know, it's the difference between going to Pillars to buy a pair of shoes and go to Louis Vuitton and paying, paying, you know, a nice pair of shoes, right? It's, it's the same idea, same concept, right? So, why you should, in fact, ask your photographer to print the printer, the, the, the picture instead, and, uh, instead of going to Costco? Well, because, for example, with me, if I got a client who say, I want that picture, uh, to be on the canvas, what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab the file, put it back on my Photoshop, and I'm going to really spend the time to remove the blemish on the face, the little spots, you know, if she, if she has maybe a little double chin, so I'm going to smooth that out, I'm going to make sure everything is perfect, you know, uh, some bride, they get that, that bulge of skin behind, so I'm kind of smooth that out, I make sure the there is no exit sign, the, the, the veil is fine, there is no dirt on the floor or stain. So all that gets perfected and also sometimes remove sky because here in LA, let's face it, we get this white, boring sky. Oh my gosh, it's so boring. And sometimes I'm going to put beautiful sky instead to make the picture really dramatic and uh, beautiful. So uh, I spend a lot of time. But at the end, when the picture is delivered, the client's going to be like, whoa this is beautiful and they're going to be prior to put that picture on the wall so we don't necessarily have to overdo it some client wants something more simple but we still have to work the blemish the skin correction the white balance remove little object you know some electrical cord sometimes a little little thing will belong in the grass my sprinkler can be right there we remove that all kind of things so we spend the time and then we use labs who we'll make sure the picture is correctly exposed on the support. So like that, uh, it looked perfect. So this is where you got to pay attention. I offer web resolution digital file in my package, meaning when you get your online gallery, you can download everything. You can also post them on Facebook to share on your media. And I have no problem for that because as long as you credit me, it's good advertising. So uh, it's great for me. But as soon as you're going to want uh, to print uh, something, well, it's going to have to give through me. Well, you're going to be, well, I don't know the photographer will offer me the, all these high resolution file for 500 bucks. I say, okay, sure. There is a lot of them and we know very well about them. Well, you got to understand there is a difference between a $500 photographer and a $3,000 photographer. And it usually comes with the experience, the customer services, the quality will go behind the product. And that is something you might need to think of of your wedding, wedding photography, because if you really care about having beautiful memory of that precious moment in your life, and you want your children later on to discover this picture and realize how beautiful it was, um, going with a photographer who do not have the experience for it, it might be a big regret. Uh, there is a lot of information about brides who... Um, have regret after the wedding and one of them usually is not having higher photographer or not having spending more money on a better photographer uh, because let's face it the flower dies the dj is only for one day the food's gonna be eaten uh, the dress you're only gonna wear it once the only thing you're gonna carry every day is basically your wedding rings and your pictures because your pictures gonna be on your wall every day and it's going to be on your social media for, for quite a bit of time. So those are the two things we really like. Your wedding rings and a photography. Of course, if you want to do the video, that lasts too. But it's very it's also important. But I, I do not do video. Um, so photography. If you really want this beautiful memory, you're going to want to hire a photographer. We're going to know what to do in terms of posing, lighting. Uh, pay attention to detail, the workflow, make sure you keep everything on track, not forgetting any important moments, stuff like that. So it's going to come with a lot of coaching from its part to you and uh, a lot of knowledge. 
big enough tire for us still learning that so they might miss a lot of things and uh, the light of course if you have a nighttime weddings you really have to reconsider hiring someone uh in the low bark low low ball park budget uh it's not gonna work out so great for you uh think to think about you know albums beautiful books like that you know, your digital file, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm starting to have right that I should waiting off like 10 years ago. And they contact me and say, I lost my digital files. Uh, the computer turned bad. They can really forget the wedding picture on the hard drive. Uh, the USB key, you know, kind of give up. Or I remember it was DVDs, not the DVDs, just not responding. You know, if some of you already have DVDs, you know, after a few years, it's starting to not work anymore. Well, it's the same thing. So uh, digital file do not have a uh, shelf life oh, and if you don't pay attention to it, like if you do not sustain your hard drive and keep on moving your file and uh, keep them in clean and uh, update it, you're going to lose them. Uh, so that can't, move, can't, can't lose it. It's going to stay uh, in a nice bookshelf for a long time. And I promise you kids, one day they're going to find it. They're going to open it and going to, oh, it's mommy and daddy waiting pictures. You know what? They're going to have so much fun opening that book and see these beautiful pictures. So this is why I recommend all my clients to at least order one wedding album, because no matter what happened, even if you lose your digital file, you will have this album for a long, long time. They last you know, years, I mean, uh, we're talking, you know, decades too. So it's really, really, really important. All right. So think about it. Cheap photographer versus iron photographer. This is why they don't give you the, the high resolution file because it's basically the work. You're going to pay for the quality and the services behind the file. And we want to make sure you do it right. So I hope that video really helping you. Uh, has helped you a lot. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I, I know I have a little cute French accent sometimes. It's not that easy for me neither. <laughs> and I hope that if any of you are interested to uh, hire me for the wedding, you can contact me on my website right there. And uh, I hope if you're bride and groom from the other side of the country, I hope this helped you to figure out who to hire you for your wedding. All right. Have a good day, everybody. Bye.